Hi, I'm Father Nelson Medina from Colombia and I'd like to share with you my own take on the question, what do I love of being a Catholic? I would like to distinguish between two senses of the verb love. We can speak of love as similar to liking. For example, what do I like of being a Catholic? And of course, I like many things. I like its liturgy. I like the basic framework, moral framework. I like the charitable work. I like what is connected with history, especially lives of the saints. They are my true heroes. So there are many things that I could like of our beloved Catholic Church. But then there's another, another take on this. We can examine the verb love exactly in the sense of loving, being in love. In this sense, I will take the question as rephrased this way. Why do you love the Catholic Church? What's lovable about the Catholic Church? And what I find most lovable is nothing else but love itself. I mean, how, how do we receive love? We receive love from true human beings, from real people. And that sense of community, I have experienced in a very real way. Why am I here? I said, I am from Colombia. That's many thousands of miles away from here. But I came over. I was well received in this rectory, in this parish. Why so? Because we share the same faith. Because there's something about that faith that I can help to build a little bit, a little bit more. We speak the same language. And of course, I'm not referring to the English language. And that sort of union, that sort of connection that goes all the way through continents, that crosses the seas, that crosses the oceans, that crosses the mountains, that crosses cultural differences. What is that? My only answer is love. It's God's love, actually. God's love that is real in real people. I remember first time when I went to Ireland and when the aircraft landed, my first thought was, gosh, I don't know anybody here. I went there because I had to do some studies, my PhD in theology actually. And when I was there, first time, just trying to improve my English, greeting people here and there, I went to my Dominican community. I belong to the Order of Preachers. And I remember very distinctly, I went to the Chapel of the Blessed Sacrament. Everything in my life was changing at that time. Everything. But Jesus was the same, the same Jesus that I had learned to love when I was a small child. Same Jesus that had made wondrous things for me. Same Jesus that had pardoned so many times my sins. Same Jesus that had nourished with his flesh, with his own blood, my life. It was the same Jesus. It was the same love. Different place, different language, different culture. Same Jesus, same spirit, same church, same love. Now that's wonderful. That's truly amazing. And when you think that this is not about geography only, it's also about history. 
we hold dear the same truth that Thomas Aquinas, Paul the Apostle, Gregory the Great, John Paul II, Martin the Porres, we hold dear the same truth that these people that have lived through ages have believed, and many of them have died for them. So they were able to put their lives at the brink of the most horrible risks because they were true believers. So they inspire me. They tell me that there's something truly valuable in these readings that we have every Sunday in Mass. There's something truly valuable when we go to confession, when we receive the absolution, when we do some prayer in a quiet place. So, what a timely question, this one. What do we love about being a Catholic? About being Catholics? And I say it's a timely question because nowadays, so often, church, the church is mentioned only when trouble arises, when there are scandals, child abuse, mm, when there's something that, you know, that makes it our curiosity. Even small and anecdotal things, leaving aside what is truly important, that's what shows up in newspapers. For example, what kind of animals should be <laughs> the representation of nativity. Well, if religion is something that trivial, if religion is only presented in connection with terrorism, if religion becomes a synonym of no and you can't do this and you can't do that and you're missing the best and more exciting part of life, Religion becomes a byword. Religion becomes something that is about to be rejected and that's happening in many lives, in many, many lives. So it is good for all of us. It is good to have a different take, to come to appreciate what faith is doing for us and to come to share with others why we are proud to be what we are. Not with arrogance, no, not with that kind of pride, but yes, with the kind of pride that entails appreciation for what we are and readiness to offer to others what we have received. May the Lord bless this Church of Our Lady of Perpetual Help and may we come to appreciate even more what we believe, what we hope and what we love. This is Nelson Medina, and please give me your prayers.